Okay, so I want to talk about how I consume knowledge and how I uh, how I sort of see uh, things. So first things first, uh, you might ask, uh, well, why this fantasy image? Like, why does why do you have to show this image here, right? Like, because. This is not even a real photo. It is, like, you can't even find this in the real world. Like, where does this kind of island exist? It does exist in movies. It does exist in cartoons. It does exist in this photo. Why are you showing this photo? Well, the reason I want to show this video, first of all, I have literally nothing. Uh, I, I'm not going to talk about anything that's in this photo here. I just want to talk about how I see things in the sense I don't think of this I literally I just pull this image out of Google because I want to make I make a point I don't worry about it I I have this is a creative commons image um, and I will credit the author I will leave a link to this image in the description for those of you who want to uh, want to criticize me on that so that's said um, the point I want to make is this okay is that you know uh, the point of, you know, showing this photo is that, you know, this is how, this is how the world is sort of, let's say, in my opinion, works. And this is how I see the whole system. This full mountain here is the whole world system. And we have an environment, all right? And we have to live with the environment, with the entities in our system. And there are different parts. And the point of showing this picture was just so that we can visualize and look at the same thing. And so we, we're at least on the similar page, or the same page, hopefully, at least on the similar page about the topic that I'm, you know, about the things that I'm talking about in this video. So that was the reason why I pulled this image, but also I'm not going to talk about anything about the trees, the birds, or what this thing is called, the spaceship thingy like the ancient spaceship thingy or the birds um i mean like this is an interesting image but again don't get misled all right so first things first what does this image represent there are obviously things that you want to remember the top part is where the uh, humans sort of live and thrive you have a home you have the fire where he can go and, you know, light the fire and, you know, he can eat there, he can cook food and he make his meals there. And you can also see that there is a mountain above this little huge mountain that he might or might not see uh, or might have not even discovered. Um, I just said might, I did not say is, uh, or uh, he did. Um, I mean, he has a he has a he has a he has a vehicle here, so he definitely would have seen this whole thing here, this little part underneath his little place here. Uh, but okay, so he has a home here. That's where he lives, and he can see the entire environment there, right? He can look at the whole world from this little place, from this little ground. He also has a mountain there on the top. Right, and he can go there, and he can look at it even better. Like he can, he can, he can get a you know what do you call it, a more eagle's eye or a bird's eye view of this world, right? And these birds are looking at a you know a more holistic view, right? Look, human, you're looking at one level, uh, you know, lower, but you know what? I can see it at a much better, at a much higher level. But these guys here, right? They're going different places underneath above in all these places right there so the top level is where you get to see a holistic view of this world this is a mountain meaning this in order for you to conceive or understand the full value of this mountain you have to dig all of this mountain and get to the bottom because that's when you'll get the full value of this mountain you can you can sell uh, the resources of what you found in this ground uh, directly to the market. You can refine these materials and sell to the market. You can find a lot of incredible resources. So in this hypothetical movie, here, the top is where you get the holistic picture. The bottom is where you get the basic resources. The minerals, the resources, lies in the bottom. The most valuable resources lie at the bottom. Now, if I were to ask you, where do you choose 
to go, where do you choose to start? Now, some of you might say, and maybe most of you would say, I'll go choose the top because I can see everything. I can understand the world. I can see the living. I, I can live there on the top. And you, maybe you're right, right? And some of you would say, you know what? I don't want to you know, start easy. I want to start difficult. So I want to chart, I want to start by this little part here. I want to make, I want to dig this part. I want to dig, 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 get all the resources. And by the time I go on the top, I'm a rich man, all right? And I will be the rich man ruling this entire island. I have all the resources. And, um, you know, I will, I understand the whole world and I will get to see everything. That's what the guy at the bottom says. The guy at the top says, you know what? Let's get the basics down first. And then it'll go down, down, down. And then when I reach the bottom, I'll understand that this world is what it is. Now, if I were to ask you, do you want to go bottom to up? Or do you want to go from top to bottom? Some of you are going to choose either sides. Here's what I see. I go both ways. And how do I go both ways? You have these vehicles. Uh, I don't know what do I call these, like, you know, spaceships or ancient spaceships. Whatever you want to call those. So you have this vehicle who can go bo both ways. Look, if you're going to go solely, if you're going to drive your vehicle solely on the top, meaning if all you're going to do is, I'm going to get the basics down, I want to see the world in a holistic view, and uh, and you know that this is true, what you're seeing is true. So you're going to live on the top and you're going to say, okay, this is what the world is. The problem is you don't understand everything that you see. Because if you, if you want to understand what the world really is made of, then you have to get to the bottom. That's why you have to start from the top. But then if you want to really understand the individual elements, you have to take this vehicle go to the bottom and also start mining from the both ways. So you gotta hit from the top, hit to the bottom. And then if you don't understand, if you're stuck here, then you wanna go back to the top and then hit here and then hit here. If you're only gonna hit from the top, okay, there's no way you can tell the consistency. All right? Not only that, is, but is it impossible and really difficult in your lifetime to reach to the bottom or to reach to the top. If you're going to go understand everyone, understand everything that there is in this world to understand, if you want to understand all the basics, you will probably, most likely, never reach the end of the tunnel, or at least it may seem like it, right? The more you learn, sometimes it may feel like Hell, I'm not learning every language that is out there, but I can make sense of the meaning of this life. Some of you will look like that. And some of you would be like, hell, there's no meaning in life. <laughs> and people could go either directions. And people on the other side are like, you know what, this is the meaning of life. And you know what, you know, look at this bliss. And when they start digging, digging deeper, and then they realize like, oh, Hell, we took a lot of things for granted. People go different directions. But if you really want to understand, when either sides, it is enough when both sides hear each other, right? So you say, hey, this is my worldview. Hey, this is my basics. If both of you can hear each other, congratulations, because that's when both of you when what you say, what you do, coincides. So your basics and your holistic ideas or your ideology or whatever you, your practices sort of coincide. In my opinion, if both of these coincide, that's sufficient. And that's the whole reason I brought up this picture is that I want, I, I, I go both ways. I'm not strictly bottom up or go either top down. I think, we as humans, if you really want to make sense of this world, our environment and this world is incredibly complicated. And it's not possible for us to, you know, even if we go complete boat down, you have to go widthwise. So what are you going to do about that? So if you want to understand the system, you have to go both ways. And it's almost impossible to finish drill, drilling the whole mountain. 
in order for you to truly understand and get the full value of this book. So that's why it is important to go both ways. And I hope you sort of understand that. And I shall see you guys in the next video very soon.